good afternoon, uh, Wanda van Bovenrij hier. Today I'm going to do an uh, art journal prompt from uh, Artology. And I'm going to do uh, the number week 6, and that's the buttons. I'm first going to do uh, the background. And I'm going to use this color from Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic Paints. And it's called uh, Transparent Red Mid. This one. So this is the color. It's a dark uh, pink. Almost red. So uh, I got a big brush. It's an artist brush. And I'm just going to uh, brush it in. It's a little over 1 uh, uh, p.m. now, and uh, uh, sorry, I have to think about how to say uh, uh, yes, 2.30 two, two p.m. <laughs> I had to think how to say that. Uh, I have an appointment at the vet with my little storm. And uh, they are going to check his eye, and I think I can be uh, very happy. I think it's healing up uh, very well. And I know you can say, but you're not a vet. No, I'm not, but... <laughs> well, I've got experience with uh, <laughs> damaged eyes. Machi Babas or him and Belle, Belle. Uh, they just won't leave the cat alone when it comes to food. And uh, often I'm playing guard in the kitchen until they're ready and they uh, all licked each other's bowls out. Because yes, has, that has to happen. They have to lick their each other's bowls out. And if the cat's coming through the gate of the kitchen door, he's got his own uh, entrance. Well, uh, then it's going to be a fight about the food. And, well, yeah. The cat uh, doesn't appreciate uh, being barked away, so he hits them. And when I'm near, I'm opening the door for the cat so he can go into uh, the how do you say that? Uh, not the kitchen, but we call it the bay. So it's the, the extra kitchen. I don't know how to say it, but well, that's it. So, and I think I just because it's wet now, I'm going to try out uh, some things. So, I'm going to try this one. Oh, yes, that's fine. Funny! See me play! Yes, I am! Yes! And then, maybe, go 
got a little tiny bubble wrap. Oh, that's fun. Just first just over your page and then take the paint off again. So it's two, four, six, eight. Just one more. And I have to rinse that off when I'm ready. But I think I leave it like this now. And then I'm going to dry it. It's taking a bit longer than I uh, anticipated, so uh, I'm going to dry it and clean off my palette and uh, this one. And then I will be right back with the next step. Hello, I'm back again. I'm now going to use this uh, beautiful stencil, or mask if you will. It's from Dutch Dubadoo, and it's called, uh, well, A5 Butterfly Mask. So I'm going to use this one. And, well, what do I think I want to do? I think I want to do the yellow one. So I'm just going to use a cheap paint uh, from from Bleiswijk, Holland, acrylic paint. It's uh, yellow. Yep. <laughs> the lid is full, <laughs> look. Then I'm going to use a cut up uh, kitchen sponge. sponge. And I'm just going to sponge away. And I'm not going to do the butterfly, but I'm going to use the uh, swirls from the butterfly just cleaning off the back so we don't uh, get it anywhere else Again, a little bit uh, cleaning the back. And then I'm going to put it down here. This isn't the first time I use this uh, stencil. I just like to clean my stencils right away. So when I'm finished with this one. I'm going to stop the video and clean my stencil. Yes. I think I want some more. I really li do like the yellow onto this reddish uh, uh, pink. I 
know it overlapped the other one, but I don't care because I'm playing. Oh. Just like the texture this stencil gives. It's just so beautiful. I really use it often because I just like it so much. circle swipe things. I just love this stencil. And I'm here and then I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. Just going to clean up the stencil a little bit like this because all well, the paint on my palette is gone. So I think this will give enough texture so we can see. Now lifting it up. Yes it does. So now I'm ready with this color and I will be right back with the next stencil. Next stencil I'm going to use is this star and I'm only going to use it for the texture again. It's from uh, the Wii stencils and it's called, oh, it's uh, it has a number, so I'm going to show you. So that's the number and I'm going to use it and I want to do the orange, so that's the vermilion. And it's the same uh, Amsterdam Standard Series. I'm just going to do a little bit uh, with this stencil. And uh, a cut up kitchen sponge. So I'm going to do it right here. And I want the center just here. I don't know if it show up. Uh, it's a little bit dark, but I don't care. It's texture. And now I'm going to do this. Pointy thingy here, and I think a little starry middle pointy thingy here. Yes, and a little bit here, and just a little bit here, a little bit here. Just cleaning out the stencil a little bit. Going to clean up the stencil here a little bit. And here a little bit of cleaning the stencil. Uh, well, and that's for this color. And you know, I uh, will be right back with the next stencil. Hello, I'm back again. So well, I decided to not do another stencil, but I'm going to use some homemade stencils. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to do this one. This one I'm going to do with the watered down acrylic paint. And it's what's called Ultramarine Violet. So I'm just going to uh, get it on. Look the texture in this. And I made a video uh, about how I made this one, 
so if you would like you can look at look up uh, how to in the playlist how to and there you will find it so and then um, I'm just going to clean off uh, this it's going to give uh, my painted uh, well, it's my clean off uh, paper, so I'm just going to uh, clean it a little bit with this. So it's got all the texture now, and it's going to be cleaned. And then I'm just going to get a baby wipe. This mess here. Yes. And just a little bit uh, off of this uh, stamp so I can go and use it more often. And then I go dry it on the side. Well, just going to get my fingers here, and then uh, because I want to use this one, I wanted to do it with. Uh, what color did I want to use? Hmm. Maybe a little bit off white. This. Irish and it is a uh, violet color and this is uh, already a uh, very light uh, not that heavy paint so it's thinner so I'm going to uh, rotter it down and this is watered down a lot <laughs> but I don't care it will give me some texture I hope Oh my god! <laughs> there are sheep! Oh, how cute! Oh, I want to let to show you. I will stop the video and look in front of my window. Isn't it cute? They're coming by. Never seen this before. How cute! My dogs hear them now. <laughs> oh, how cute! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but well, sometimes uh, things happen and... Well, we just want to see. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Look at them, uh, them go. Look, there's a sheep herder. <laughs> oh, how cute. Oh, there's a dog. Do you see the dog? Yes, with the shepherd. Yes, there it is. <laughs> well, now we go uh, craft again. <laughs> I hope you like this little stop. <laughs> In between, I did. Well, I'm back again. I dried off this, uh, these ones. So, I'm now going into uh, my water down uh, stuff. And I'm just going to stamp this one. It's a little bit dry, but I don't care. I'm just going to play with it. I really love this one. But I just can't stop it. It's 
getting very, very busy. And I don't care because I'm playing. But it's really turning out very beautiful. I'm just going to put it all over the page now. So it's going to be filled all over. It's getting a bit dry now. Just have to hurry up. It's also turning down, uh, turning down, uh, how do you say, turning down the page, uh, soothing the page. Well, it's, I think you know what I mean. So the page isn't that, uh, that very uh, overwhelming anymore. Now uh, these ones are ready. I just want to do some black and splatters. Black. So I'm just going to put some black here. And then uh, I'm going to water it down. Needs a little bit more water. <clears throat> so, and then get the brush I want. Uh, I'm just going over you right now. Looking for the brush I want. I think I'm going to use this one today. So I'm just going to ink it up. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. Just a little lightly. Oh, that's beautiful. After this part, I'm going to let it dry because I got a notice that I have to go to the vet. Otherwise, we're going to be too late. And that's not what we want. Because we want to know if everything's okay with Storm's eye. Oh, I really love this page. <laughs> oh yes, I'm having fun. I'm now going to let this dry. And then when we get back from uh, the, the vet, I'm going to finish this page because, well, if the challenge or the prompt is buttons, there has to be buttons on it. But well, I, re I already like it very much, but we're going to finish it up. So, I will be right back. Hello, I'm back again. Well, uh, this is all dried up, and now I'm going to put in my buttons. I made a button border, so I'm going to stick them in. So, uh, I think I'm going to glue these ones 
with uh, clip sticks. If they want to work with me. And if they don't, well, they have to. So, maybe just stick this on here. Oh, not over the edge. Yes, and then the next one. And then after I uh, put down all these ones, I'm going to put in a centerpiece. I'm not going to tell you yet what the centerpiece is. Uh, these ones are. Um, Da, 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 die. These ones are die cuts. So, leave this one here for a moment. I can use it somewhere else. Um, next one. Uh, I went to the Fat Bit store and um, his eye uh, or the scratch in his eye is all healed up so we're both very happy about that because now we don't have to put in the cream in his eye anymore so that's what Storm is happy about and I'm happy about uh, that too But I'm also happy his eye is quite alright now. No damage anymore. The body is such a healing place. It's just uh, awesome. This one. Mm. Yeah, it's sticking over the side now. Ooh. That's dangerous because one of my dogs is laying beneath me, beneath the table. So I don't want that to happen again. Come on, stay. So. Uh, so his eye is all healed up, uh, except for some of the blood vessels. That's not all okay, but uh, well. That will heal up uh, by its own, the fat set. So that's going to be okay. Uh, I want it to be like. 
that. So we're first going to do this one. So we're going to stick this one down now. Yes, like so. Oh, please don't stick too much. So, this is okay for me to cut off. Please come on. Work with me, please. Okay. And just like this. Thank you. It doesn't matter because I'm going to stick this one over it. Look, and it's going to fit exactly. Isn't it funny? <laughs> A button border. Oh. It's just looking great with this old textured page. So now uh, I'm going to show you my centerpiece I picked out. I first wanted to do something else, but I'm going to use this one. This is my centerpiece. It's an embossed metallic looking uh, paper. And I've got uh, a magazine cut out and I put on uh, well some cardboard so I can stick it on there and I was planning do I only want to wings to pop up no I think I like her to pop up also so I'm going to put on some oh, uh, I don't have that. Yeah, this one. Um, well, maybe. No, I'm going to use the little sticky. Stickies. I'm oh, sorry. It's going to be uh, here, and I want another one just uh, here. Maybe I should have done this off camera. Again, I will be right back. Hello, I'm back again. Well, I uh, glued up uh, this piece and I put on these uh, foamy stickers. So I'm now going to put in my centerpiece. Yes. Like this. And then. This one is going to go on top and I want to center it as much as possible. She's 
so cute. And then I put on some tape uh, glue on the bottoms. Buttons, not bottoms. <laughs> well, I think it's funny. So I'm going to put in some more buttons. And I've got different colors. I'm just sticking them here and there. Three there, three there, so only got two left. So uh, going to stick um, maybe I can pull it up. Yes, I can pull it up. So I'm going to put this one here and this one here. So I'm going to put the big one here. And a tinier one there, and a tinier one there. Oh, this is such a lovely page. And I first didn't want to make one because I didn't have buttons. And I waited a whole long time before I did another art, uh, art on a prompt. And now I had a button. Uh, a button emboss uh, folder and uh, I had some buttons buttons uh, I got from the giveaway corner from our city on Facebook I got some buttons in it so it's funny but uh, this is my uh, finished page uh, so I'm going to make some uh, photos and I want to thank you for watching and please uh, if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up and leave a lovely comment below subscribe if you aren't yet and enjoy creating because I will thank you for watching and until the next time have a nice evening or a nice day bye